Hi, my name's Debbie and I sell and exhibit my artwork under the name of Pilgrim. I'm a bit of a butterfly. I don't like to stick with one medium. In fact, I'll just try anything and everything in my artwork if I can. So I thought I'd start by showing you some of the things that I've done with different mediums. So um, I've done this one was just normal watercolour. Um, these two were something very strange. Um, it was a powder called Brusho, which has some amazing colours, and you actually take out details and highlights with bleach. So that was a, it's a bit strange, but it gets everywhere. You definitely can't do that indoors in the house. Um, the other things I like working with is acrylics and a palette knife. Um, I'm a lot more, I like to sculpture my pictures rather than just to paint. Um, so that's the idea from those. And I even done pictures with recycled paper. That was a challenge that I did during lockdown um, where we had to, to pick something. So these are all magazine that have been cut up and rolled up and used as hedgehog spines. I'm going to be doing a smaller version of this for you. Then this is made with pastels um, and some other bits and bobs that I've got around the house that you might not think would be good for art but we shall see. So to set it up I need a board with my cartridge paper. Um, as you probably saw on the back, that's my usual side. That's where I do all my artwork. But unfortunately, because of that, it's got lumps of paint and things on. And when you're using pastels, you need it to be as smooth as possible because it shows up. I've got my pastels. These are soft pastels, not oil pastels. They're quite different things. I've got an apron because as you will see when I'm doing it soft pastels go everywhere and um, it makes a bit of a mess really but they are really good fun and they look stunning kitchen roll essential when you're working with pastels normally you would fix your work with pastels with a pre-bought fixative but as I have asthma and I'm filming this indoors, that quite affects my chest. So I found that a good alternative is good old hairspray. I'll cover the name up because lots of brands are available. I'm also in this picture going to be using some dry hair shampoo, some paint markers, some ink markers, and me. Okay, so these are the colours that I've picked. Today we go through a lot of white. Um, that's always the main colour that runs out first. So we just start by layering it on really. Good old picking up. And now the room is green and blue and yellow. There we go. So start off just putting a base coat on like that. And then because, as you can see, um, soft pastels are really quite light uh, and there's no real depth of colour there. So to do that, you need to layer it on top. And that's quite difficult with these because as you then start to rub it in, you lose what you did. So you need to fix each layer as you do it. And that's where the hairspray comes in.
so lots of playing around um, as you can see I'm pretty mucky and so is the table so all that's left to do is to sign it and that's the latest piece of work by Pilgrim <laughs>